Hey, what's up? I'm Lindsay Bird, here for TomTom Tom Magazine. I'm just going to show you a few quick, simple stick tricks that you can use and apply to your play. Just to spice things up. So basically, a really easy one that is super easy to apply to uh, when you're actually playing beats is I like to call the over the pointer finger flip. Because that's all you're doing, you're flipping the stick over your pointer finger. So, just a little close up for you. All you're gonna do is take your middle finger, put it behind the stick, and flick it over the pointer finger. Right? A bit quicker. So, super easy. And it's really good to it. I like to apply it before I hit, like, I'm really far away. Hit, maybe the snare drum, like on an up. Right? It's just, just dramatic and cool looking. So that's one for you. Um, another one I like to use, mainly when there's like a bigger break, because this one tends to be a little bit more tricky and you have a better chance of actually like losing the stick. So I do it when there's like maybe a bigger break, when I'm just stomping on the kick or something like a break. Just it's less risky. So it's called the around the thumb spin. And basically, again, the names are very self-explanatory. It's around the thumb. So, looks like this. I'll give you a closer view. So you're pushing with your middle finger here, up against the stick, and it's gonna just, so I can't do it slow and not hold it. And you're gonna go around your thumb, and you're gonna catch it back here. So, fully, whoops, sorry. So here we go. Around the thumb, give you kind of a forward view. So there's that one. Like I said, if you can nail this trick and you're really comfortable with it, feel free to throw it in like whatever you want. But um, until you can get it, it's quite, because when I first was doing it, it slides, just kind of slides off your hand. So it's a little more risky. Um, lastly is a trick probably most of you already know, really like iconic drummers do this trick all the time, is uh, this one, which I just call the rock and roll twirl, because it's all it is really. And all you're doing is it's between these two fingers, and you're just pivoting your wrist, and the faster you go, the less wrist movement it is, and more kind of just your finger um, pivoting slightly if you to my first uh, pointer finger. So that one's really easy, and yet if you're not doing like a really long one, you can just give it one flick of the wrist, and you can throw it in anywhere and it looks really cool. And you're not doing that much work. So, Hopefully these help out and uh, can make your drumming a little bit flashy and uh, hopefully you don't drop them. Good luck.